So just going around the tablet itself, um, what you'll notice just looking at the, uh, the device is you've got USB port, HDMI, audio in and out there, as well as um, you've got a microphone array on the device, so it's good, good for audio recording. SD card reader on the uh, other side of the device here we actually have uh, a tether point there for the pen so you don't lose the pen as well as a wireless on off switch that's good to have on the hardware there um, you've got a couple of programmable buttons there uh, nice and handy is that this button here actually uh, doubles as an enter button when you're booting up windows if you ever get one of those screens where you need to press the enter button that there comes in handy uh, and you've got your on off switch there on the bottom side you've just got your uh, power port so you can plug that directly into power there as well as your docking connector. So on the front of the device you've got a uh, webcam um, for Skype and video conferencing and looking at the back of the device here we've got the camera there as well as the removable battery so you can see that I've got uh, two little tabs here that's, uh, which release the battery. In behind the battery there is the SIM card slot for the inbuilt mobile broadband. So looking at the docking station here, you can see that uh, it's very easy to get in and out. It's uh, removable from the dock. On the side of the dock here, you've got a couple of USB ports. You've got power, so you can actually power this up through the dock. Got another two USB ports, so that's four in total there. Um, and the, the dock itself, or the stand, the little kickstand there, closes up, which means that it is quite portable. It's something that you could actually stow in your laptop bag quite comfortably. Now Fujitsu have actually bundled in their own uh, software keyboard here which is a good feature. It, uh, has, it actually has XT9 input so it's a predictive text input uh, like you'd have on your mobile phone. Um, so it actually finishes words for you and corrects words as you type. So that's a nice feature to have and you can make this keyboard uh, larger or smaller depending on your preference. So this program here that Fujitsu have bundled onto the device is called on-screen touchpad. Well, I didn't think that uh, there's much use for a, a touchpad on a device like this, but um, certainly is a bit of a strange addition. But I guess if you're connecting up to an external screen, then that might be a good utility to have. What I really like about this program, though, is of course that it has a number pad. So when you're working in a program like Excel, for example, uh, I'm just going to scroll through here and find Excel, uh, Microsoft Office. There we go. <coughs> I get asked this question all the time, can I run my Windows programs on one of these tablets? The answer is yes, of course. This is a, this, the Q550 runs a full version of Windows 7, it's Windows 7 Professional. So you can run any program that you run in your Windows environment currently on this tablet PC. Excel is a good example of that. So you can see with the, uh, the number pad there, I can easily type in some numbers and uh, enter data into the cell. So that's a really good feature because the standard Windows um, on-screen number pad is a little bit small for touch um, and it does fill up a fair bit of space on the screen whereas this uh, this little program here can be resized as you need it to be but um, having that number pad layout is really handy sometimes. Fujitsu have also bundled in the uh, new Intel App Store which obviously is designed to compete with the, li the likes of the uh, iTunes App Store as well as the uh, Android Marketplace. Um, and it's certainly not uh, anywhere near the scale of those uh, marketplaces currently, but it is a, um, a single point where you can sign in and make app purchases, uh, things like games and um, educational applications are probably what you're going to find the most of in here. Um, the reality is you buy a Windows 7 tablet because you want to take your existing applications out with you and you already know what they are and oftentimes it's just as simple as Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint or something like that. So you can run any application on here. You don't have to go through an app store but some people like the convenience of that app store experience and uh, it is a little bit of fun to look through there and find new applications. Okay, the device can also automatically rotate, and that's uh, it rotating there. Um, you've got to understand though, Windows in particular is not really designed for this sort of automatic rotation uh, thing. Some of the applications take a little while to re-render themselves when you do turn it around, but overall it's not too bad. Personally, I turn that feature off because I find it to be a little bit annoying. It tends to happen uh, when you least want it to on any device, be it mobile phone, iPad or 
tablet PC so uh, it is very easy to turn that feature off. Now the device itself obviously it has its own file system as do all Windows 7 laptops and you really got to think of this like a laptop um, but you'll see that uh, this particular device comes with a 62 gigabyte solid state drive now bear in mind that a fair bit of that is used up by Windows itself and uh, some of the backup uh, facilities that are built into the device the device only utilizes solid state storage but there is a 30 gig option available but personally I would recommend for most applications that you go for the 62 gigabyte solid state drive and that's going to give you enough space to use the device comfortably. The solid state storage is good because it's fast um, it also has no moving parts which is again good for, uh, for the ruggedness of the device.